Later today, we get the release of the Fed minutes. As a reminder, at the last meeting, things were looking more upbeat with the Fed even going so far as to add the line that the economy had made progress towards its goals. This had resulted in an initial reaction that leaned towards the possibility of a more imminent taper. But the Fed chair was quick to dismiss any such expectation, and we were right back to seeing stocks on the rise. So what's happened since that meeting, and will it ultimately render any additional insight from today's minutes as outdated and meaningless? The answer is indeed, this could be the case. Since the last meeting, not only has COVID situation deteriorated, not only have inflation concerns continued to rise, but we've also seen big misses on key data in the form of Michigan sentiment and retail sales. And while it's true the U.S. jobs market has been looking more robust, we don't believe it's robust enough to make the Fed comfortable about signaling any taper just yet. But one thing's for sure, the Fed's job is getting harder and harder, and the decision to hold off on tightening policy on fears around compromising growth and job creation is not going to be as simple if inflation continues to trend higher, challenging the notion of being transitory in nature. The bottom line here is we don't believe we should be expecting much from the Fed minutes, and even if the minutes do seem to lean a little more to the hawkish or less dovish side, We know the Fed chair who dismissed expectations of any near-term shift in policy back at the last meeting when things were looking better than they are now will be sure to once again be vocal about making that point as the overall situation has deteriorated since that last meeting. As far as markets go, this means investors will do whatever they can to keep buying those dips in stocks, and we could see those yield differentials shift back out of the buck's favor. That's all for now.